there's a famous seaside place called Blackpool which is noted for fresh air and fun and Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom went there with young Albert their son he a grand little lad with young Albert he dressed in his best quite a swell he had a stick with an horse's head handle the finest that Woolworths could sell well they didn't think much to the ocean all the ways were all fiddling and small no shipwrecks nobody drowning in fact nothing to laugh at at all so seeking for further amusement Ed paid and went into the zoo there were ti lions and tigers and camels old ale and sandwiches too now with the one old lion called Wallace whose face was all covered in scars and he lay in a sumbulent pustule with the side of his face to the bars well Albert who'd heard about lions how they were ferocious and wild well to see Wally sleeping so peaceful well didn't seem right to the child so straight away that brave little fella without showing a morsel of fear took his stick with the horse's head handle and shoved it in Wallace's ear well you could see that the lion didn't like it for giving a kind of a roar he pulled Albert inside cage with him and swallowed the little lad all well Pa who had seen the occurrence and didn't know what to do next said mother young lions at our Albert and mother said yeah I am vexed the animal keeper was sent for who took out his purse straight away he said <clears throat> how much to settle in the matter Pa said how much do you usually pay well mother had turned proper awkward when she realised where her Albert had gone she said no somebody's got to be summonsed so that we decided upon so they all trooped down to police, police station in front of the magistrate chap and he said are you sure it's your son he's eaten and Pa said I'm as sure he's his cap well the magistrate gave his opinion that uh, <clears throat> no one was really to blame and he hoped that Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom would have further, further sons to their name at that mother got proper blazing and thank you sir said kindly said she what waste all my life raising children to feed bloody lions not me